by the Women's and Children's Shelter today and joins us in studio with more. Jay, City Light Home in Boise houses women and children in need of overnight shelter. And with winter temperatures dropping even lower, these women rely on shelter donations to stay warm throughout the colder months. Almost 200 women and children currently call this building home. Um, you know, we, we call it the City Light Home for Women and Children, and it turns into a, an extended family where um, they help each other out, they babysit with each other's kids, and help each other with chores, and um, just try to make it through the day. And sometimes it's pretty tough to, with all the things they have going on, to try to, to get through the day. The home offers a place to sleep for those in need, and during winter months, women like Samira Khan wonder where they'd be without it. Probably on the streets, and people would be shocked that someone with two degrees and 17 languages laying out in the alley, but that's what it would have been like. Khan graduated from the University of Michigan and has been living at the shelter for 10 months after being let go from her job in Washington years ago. She and other women at the home rely on donated goods for the clothing on their backs. We provide all the clothing. All the clothing, shoes, underwear, socks, everything for the people who live here. Our kids occasionally lose their mittens, lose their scarves, lose their hats, so we're always kind of looking for the fresh supply, lose their coats, leave them somewhere, <laughs> just like all normal kids. City Lights Kitchen also dishes out almost 400 meals every day, all from donated items. And since their number one goal is encouraging women to find careers, the kitchen converts into a classroom. People help in the kitchen. They can also get their food handler's safety certificate while they're here. We help them with that, and that helps with jobs in the food service industry. After 13 years, City Lights is still going strong, offering women and children a meal and a warm bed at night. And some of the people would be froze to death or die, okay, or be abused because they're financially challenged. And so if this wasn't here, a lot of women would be exploited. Although the shelter mainly houses women from 4 p.m. to 8 a.m., they are open 24 hours a day to offer assistance to those in need. And they're always needing food, clothing, and cleaning supplies. So if you're cleaning out your closet, bring your secondhand finds to the warehouse in downtown Boise on 24th Street or any of the Boise Rescue Mission Shelter locations. Live in studio, I'm Karen Laird. Today, 6 on your side.